All right, we've worked up to this uh, over the last set of videos. Um, now it's time to actually execute an experiment using uh, Slurm. So let's give that a try. So we left off editing our uh, batch file and, and now we can actually do something uh, interesting here. Um, so what I'm doing right now is hard coding uh, my experimental setup. So we're going to do, let's say 8,000 epochs and, and let's, let's uh, do five hidden units. So uh, save that and now exiting. And the way that we uh, actually submit our, uh, our job to the supercomputer is using the sbatch command. And you can see that it came back and said submitted batch job and, and that, there's our job number. Um, if we look at, use the sq command and dash u and your username, it'll actually give us the status. Um, and uh, right now that this program is actually running on, uh, on the supercomputer. It actually got picked up really quick. This is the amount of time it's been running. So eight seconds, uh, there's our job number again. Here's the partition that we're using. And this is the actual node uh, name uh, that our program is executing on. So C269. If we go back, if we check it again, um, you can see that it uh, is continuing to uh, execute. We're now at 39 seconds. We'll, I guess we'll get to see whether or not we can fit within the, the two minutes. All right, we pause for a little bit. I'm going to check the status. We're now at one minute, 43 seconds. I suspect that our request for 8,000 epochs is probably a little bit much to fit within our two minutes, um, in which case the supercomputer is going to give us a few seconds beyond two minutes, and then it's going to kill our job. So now we're at two minutes, one second, three seconds, six seconds. OK. It will kill our job soon. Um, what, what you'll see in the results directory is that uh, we have uh, two other files that have appeared, um, one standard error and one standard out with that same job name. And those uh, actually contain, whoops, those contain details of what's happening on the on standard, in, uh, standard error and standard out. Actually, I think we might have finished now. All right, one way or another, we have finished. Um, but let's let's look at the results file. Let's look at the standard error file uh, first. Um, okay, what what you'll see. So the, so they're the same warnings that we saw when we were doing our testing, and then the very last this line here, you'll see that. Uh, the job actually got canceled um, because we overran the time limit. So we'll, we'll fix that here in a second. Um, this error here is not, this is not us. This is something to do with Slurm. Okay, but before we uh, leave this, let's look at, instead of standard error, let's look at standard out. And you'll see that uh, it has, uh, printed out the things that we expect at the, the very beginning, um, but it didn't actually print out training and finish training. Um, and furthermore, uh, we did not have a results file, a corresponding results file uh, come out. So, so let's, let's go ahead and make a change to our batch file so that this actually executes in, uh, in a short period of time. So instead of 8,000 epochs, let's do 100 epochs. And so that we have a unique EXP number, let's set that to three. Um, incidentally, the, the bang here, the exclamation point, um, SB, what that means is go back through the history of all the commands that you've typed, find the first one that starts with SB and re-execute that. So that's my 
my s batch command from before and you can see now i have a new uh, batch number and we can also look at sq so it is currently its status is pending instead of running probably is oh no nah, it is still pending uh so right now we're waiting for uh the the slurm uh, daemon to pick this up and start executing okay so uh it took a little while for for slurm to pick that up but you can see now that the the job is running uh, we are at uh 12 seconds running time right now and uh and actually we've now completed so let's go ahead and change over to the results directory and and you can see now that there's there's a new uh, standard error standard out files that, that's these two here and you can also see that a new pickle file has uh has shown up exp3 hidden five and that is a good indication that our uh, experiment actually completed so let's look at standard error 709 standard error uh, and you can you can see that uh, it we had our warnings we had this suspicious error here but that's not anything that we have to worry about um, and if we look at standard out you can see that it now also shows training and and done training okay so it's not often the case that we're looking at these standard error and standard out files um, but typically there's a debugging phase where we're trying to track down a variety of problems and, and it's useful to be able to look at those. Um, so, so that's a, a skill that you'll have to be uh, learning. Um, when you look at the standard error, um, you also have to figure out what things are not relevant. So these uh, information and warnings, oftentimes you can uh, just ignore and it's actually the, the errors that you really need to be paying attention to, except for this last one right here. Um, Okay, uh, so that's that's that quick um, experiment. Let me show you one other thing. Let's see, let's go back up here and I'm going to start editing again. Oh, we went down to one epoch, not 100 epochs. Um, so let me go back to our offending 8,000 epochs here. And and I'm going to requeue that. Oops, sorry. SB for S batch. And now, if we look at the queue, you can see that that is now uh, pending. And now we wait. Okay, I've been waiting for a little while for this job to get picked up. I actually, for this next thing, I don't even need it to be running to to show you. Um, but uh, there are often times where you'll actually. Uh, execute s batch and shortly thereafter realize that there's a problem somewhere you might have an error in your code you might have forgotten to configure something properly uh, and and you've got this job sitting in the queue or currently running um, in this case uh, you can actually stop your job using the s cancel command and it's just s cancel and then the job id and now if we look at the queue, it's it, it knows that the, the status has changed. It's in the process of uh, canceling. And there it goes. Now it's gone. OK, so, so in general, if you re realize that something is wrong, you should go ahead and cancel your job so that those compute resources can be used by somebody else. OK, so that's execution of a very short-term experiment. Uh, and uh, next up, we're going to uh, look at queuing up not one experiment, but a set of experiments.